Hey Stitchers, I thought today I would do a video about the Heaven and Earth Designs finishes that I've had so far. There's only six of them, so don't panic, hopefully this video won't be too long. Um, I thought I'd also at the end of the video put a little montage up of the other charts that I've got already in my stash. I'm not like some Heaven and Earth Design Stitchers, I don't have hundreds of charts, I'm not a chart collector, I'm more about the threads and fabrics but I just thought I'd put up uh, those so you can see the type of um, art and things that I like to stitch. Um, I'll do another video uh, at a later date about the process, my process, uh, in stitching Heaven and Earth designs because you do have to tackle them slightly differently than you might have done other with other cross stitch projects that you've done in the past so I'll do a video about that uh, at another time. Obviously the artwork that Heaven and Earth Designs um, choose to chart isn't to everyone's taste. I know that my sister, who's also a stitcher, um, generally hates all the designs, all the artwork that I've got that I want to stitch. She's always saying, why are you stitching those dolls with the freaky eyes? Um, so she isn't really a fan of um, Hannah Lynn or Jasmine Beckett Griffith. But um, I thought I would just quickly mention that there are other cross-stitch um, charting companies which have licensed, well, which um, who artists have given them a license to reproduce their work as a cross-stitch chart, just in case there might be some artwork on their sites that you prefer. Um, so the sites um, that I thought of that also um, chart artwork are um, Love Thy Thread, um, Pain Free Crafts, um, there's also um, Tilton Crafts and two other chart companies, Scarlet Quince and Golden Kite. They also chart artwork, but with those you've got a choice where you can use blended threads if you want to. So that's using two threads, um, two different coloured threads in the needle at a time. So they're sort of the next, not the next step on, but if you, if you like working with blended threads and there's an option for you there. There's also um, another company who charts artwork that I love, but unfortunately as far as I'm concerned you can only purchase those charts as part of a kit and because I've got tons of fabric and thread already it just seems a bit of a waste from my point of view but they've got amazing art that they chart and that's Gecko Rouge so perhaps you might be um, the type of stitcher that doesn't necessarily like kitting up your own um, chart so that would be a good option for you because their charts come ready kitted so anyway I just thought in the interest of fairness I'd mention those other companies as well obviously all the designs that I'm going to show you today are heaven and earth designs that I've stitched myself um, I discovered heaven and earth designs in 2011 and basically 2011 was the year I discovered stitching on the internet so that year contained a lot of firsts for me um, I sort of discovered Heaven and Earth Designs and Chatelaine Designs at around the same time. So all these um, these finishes, six finishes I'm going to show you, were stitched sort of about in the last uh, in the last three years. I put my first stitch in Heaven and Earth Design in July 2011. So the first design, um, I'm going to do them in the order that I stitch them. So the very first Heaven and Earth Design I stitch, I'll show you a piece of the artwork, a uh, picture of the artwork, so you can compare my finished piece with the original art. This one is called QS Believe. It's since been retired. It was retired uh, shortly after I purchased it, I think. Sometimes the artists uh, no longer want their work to be charted. Or I think in the case of um, Jessica Galbraith, the artist that did this piece, her art sort of went in a different direction. So she didn't want certain charts um, to continue to be sold. They, Heaven and Earth Design still chart her, her artwork but it's just sort of gone in a different direction. But anyway, enough waffling. Here is my finish of QS Believe. You can probably tell why I chose this chart as my first um, design, because obviously it's got a lot of purple in and it's got butterflies in it. So yeah, this was my first um, finish, and it was also one of the first designs that I actually got professionally framed. So this one, along with its um, partner chart, hang in my living room. So there's this, that one. It's stitched on 18 count Ada, two over one, full cross. Um, I just I wanted to stitch it on Ada. In fact, the only times that I've stitched on Ada in the last three years are for Heaven and Earth Designs um, quick stitches. Um, I just wanted the finish to be a bit bigger than it would have been on the 25 count, so that's why I chose to stitch it on 18 count instead. It's got all the using all the charted threads. The only thing I would have changed, yeah, this um, chart 
has got Krennic in it, so I would have changed that to Petite Treasure Braid, but that is um, the only change I made in that chart. So I think I started that one in um, July 2011 and I finished it, I think, October 2011. So this one's a quick stitch. Um, I think there's um, 29,000 stitches in this one. So <laughs> I guess it depends what you count as a quick stitch. As far as heaven and earth designs go, it is a quick stitch. Now a quick stitch, a QS, um, can either be um, a piece of art, a standalone piece of art that's just smaller, so it's charted to be a smaller size, or it can be um, a crop of a bigger chart. Um, they don't, Michelle doesn't just um, take up that piece of the chart and reproduce it, it's actually that particular crop of the artwork is completely recharted. So it's not the case that if you perhaps had the full size version of the chart and, a, and the QS version of the chart, they wouldn't match up, the colours would be slightly different. Sometimes there's more colours in the QS than there was in the original section of the artwork because it gets completely recharted. So, um, yeah, that's that one. I'll just show it to you again. Hopefully you don't get too much reflection. Yep, so I was quite pleased with that one. The next one I stitched is um, an SK, which is a story keep otherwise known as a bookmark. Um, here's a picture of the artwork. It's again a, a slice out of a, out of a bigger chart. Butterflies Galore is the name of the artwork and the artist is Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So here is my finish on that one. Okay. She is stitched on 28 count lilac of Brittany and for this one I decided that I would try out tent stitch so this one's only got twelve and a half thousand stitches I think and um, so I thought it was a good opportunity I mean I, I, I love the chart I didn't get it just because it was small and I wanted to try out tent, tent stitch I love the chart but I thought um, it would stitch up quick enough for me to see whether I'd want to, to um, tent stitch a whole uh, an entire piece of a big you know a bigger chart and I discovered that um, I love tent stitching and that for me I couldn't tell the difference whether it was small crosses or tiny half stitches so I thought well why not just stick with tent stitch because you can finish a chart in half the time technically speaking there are of course some cross stitches that think people that tent you know it doesn't count um, I don't really care because it means I can finish them quicker so to me it looks the same um, same result same end result but with half the work because you're doing half the stitches so again with that one it's charted um, I use all the charted colours I don't think there's any was any chronic in that one and I think I started this one and made a note in July 2011 and I finished it in November 2011 so it, it did stitch up um, quite quickly there's an awful lot of detail in it in those butterflies lots of colours used I can't remember how many now, but it would have um, said on the front sheet of the chart that I just showed you. So that's that one. The next one I stitched up is a companion piece to Believe. So QS Dragonfly is the title of the chart. Again, it's by Jessica Galbraith. It's a QS chart. It's retired. Um, the only disadvantage I can think of for um, buying a chart in PDF format is the fact that if it does get retired you can't pass it on to any other stitchers because I've had quite a few stitchers um, sort of ask oh where did you get the chart where can I get it from and the answer is I obviously can't pass on a PDF chart if I had the hard copy in paper then I could pass on that retired chart but I can't do it with the PDF so that's the only benefit personally for me that there would be in buying um, a paper chart because at least you could be able you'd be able to pass that copy on to other stitches. But here is um, my finish of that one. I'm trying not to get the reflect reflection. This one took a bit longer to stitch. Well, it didn't actually take longer to stitch. I just put it down for quite a long time because um, when I started stitching this one in November two thousand eleven, um, I only stitched a bit of it, and then of course I started um, on my chatelaines and. They kind of took over a bit. So this one, although it was started in November 2011, it wasn't finished until um, November 2012. So again with this one, chart, I've stitched it exactly as it was charted, apart from changing 
the Cranach to Petit Treasure Bray. And this one again is a similar size um, to believe as far as stitch count goes, it's about um, 29,000 stitches. So that's that one. And the next one I stitched was part of the Heaven and Earth Designs Bulletin Board Freebie Stitch Along. It was the first year, 2012, um, that I took part in the Stitch Along. And um, they've run one for a few years, but this year um, they decided not to do one on the board, which is understandable really. It takes a lot of work and organisation um, to organise the Stitch Along. I mean, it was a shame, but all of us have got plenty to stitch though. It was fine. So with the freebie stitch along what happens is um, they start in January of that year and there's a few charts to choose from, maybe um, six, six charts and then you pick the one you want to stitch and then every, um, they usually only ever sort of QS designs, SK designs, smaller designs and then every um, three months or so you get a page of the chart to stitch and you obviously post your progress pictures up on the bulletin board and if you quali qualify, um, you will receive all the charts in the stitch along at the end of the year. So um, for, for one year, you had to post so many work in progress pictures in order to get all the charts at the end of the year. Last year, you had to stitch a certain percentage, a certain number of pages for the chart for, um, for, of the chart so that you could um, qualify to get a certain amount of charts by the end of the year. So in each of the years I took part in the stitch along I always finished the chart which meant that I got all the other charts that were featured in the stitch along that year so that's quite nice. But anyway, here's the one that I chose for 2012. Here's a picture of the artwork. It's a QS of a bigger piece, um, Bookend Kitties. Um, the artist, I don't really know how to pronounce their name, but something along the lines of Kayemi Harari or something like that, I don't know. So I apologise, but anyway, book and kitty. So again, it was a cropped image of a bigger chart, which is which has been recharted. So here's my finish again on 18 count um, white Ada because I wanted the finish to be slightly bigger. I can't remember if I mentioned that, but dragonfly, the one I just showed you, QS dragonfly was also stitched on 18 count Ada. So I finished that one. Started it obviously in the January 2012. And I think I finished it in the, what did I write down, October 2012. So it's great fun to stitch along with everybody on the on the bulletin board to see everybody's progress on all the different designs. Um, I don't think there was any Krennic in this one. No, kitties don't need sparkle apparently. But um, yeah, so that would have been stitched exactly as it's charted. Um, the next one I started is quite special and finish is quite special to me because it was um, the chart was gifted to me by or racked as I would say random act of kindness by um, a stitchy friend on the cross stitch forum um, so when I got the chart I thought I would do something a bit different with it so here's the um, artwork it is um, a Zindi Nielsen piece as you already know she's one of my favorite heaven and earth designs artists um, it's a mini design. Now minis are just um, a scaled down version of the larger chart. So whereas the larger chart might be, oh I don't know, anywhere from 30 to 40 pages, um, the mini charts are sort of only maybe about 15, 16 pages depending on, on the, the size of the original chart. So they've been completely recharted and scaled down. So sometimes um, some stitchers think there might be a loss of, uh, sort of loss of detail in them when you're you know, shrinking something to all intents and purposes down. But in the ones that I stitch and I've seen stitched up, um, there isn't, for me, any loss of detail. Obviously it depends on the artist, um, how detailed their original designs are and the amount of confetti and things like that. But it's if I'm deciding on whether to stitch a mini or a bap, I would just look uh, at each individual chart on a case-by-case -case basis because there are comparisons that you can make on the Heaven and Earth Designs um, webpage. Anyway, so yes, this one's a mini and it's called Mini Watching It Fly. No, Mini Watching It Fly is the one I'm stitching at the moment. This one's Unleash the Butterflies, get it right. Yeah, M Mini Unleash the Butterflies. And as I say, this one was gifted to me. So I thought when I got it, as it was a black and white chart, I would take the opportunity to do something a bit different. So instead of stitching it in the charted DMCs, what I did was convert the DMCs to HDF silks. So this piece is stitched entirely with silk thread. 
So here it is. There's that hair finished there. And this one I started in June 2012 and I finished her off in May 2013. So she took a year to stitch. And there's no way that if I chose to stitch the, you know, the BAP version of a chart, I wouldn't have been able to finish it in a year. So for me, um, I think I really do prefer stitching the minis because they just don't take anywhere near as much time. So there she is. And I just love the fact I decided to stitch her in silks. They were really lovely, lovely to use. And again, she stitched two over one tenth stitch on um, 28 count Queen Brittany. So at some point I will get her framed, but at the moment she's just in the finished drawer waiting. So that's her. And my last finish, you'll be pleased to know, is another um, freebie stitch along. And this one was last year's freebie stitch along. You've probably already seen her because I think Miss Mel stitched her. But um, here's the artwork. Um, it's QS Heather by Hannah Lynn and for this one what I chose to do is um, every time we got a page of the chart I stitched the black outline first and then I coloured her in with all the different colours and it's quite surprising I wouldn't say confetti but I would say it's quite surprising how many different colours there are in this in this one so there she is now for this one, she again is stitched on um, 18 count Ada because I wanted her, I wanted a bigger finish. I wanted the finish design uh, to be a bit bigger. And she, I don't know if you can tell, but she's actually stitched on um, hand dyed Ada. And you might think, well, what on earth is the point of stitching on hand dyed fabric if the entire design is going to be covered? And to a certain extent you are right. But um, for me, I had this in my stash. Um, as I said, I don't stitch on Ada. So it was just sitting there, so I thought this was a good opportunity to use it. And also, I just like stitching on hand-dyed fabric. You know, if you're stitching on something for months at a time, years at a time, if it's heaven and earth designs, um, if it's a big, big chart, then it's just nice to look at some pretty fabric. So that's why I chose to stitch her on um, hand-dyed fabric. So uh, there you go, there's her. So obviously she was started January 2013 and I finished her in August. 2013 she was a really um she stitched up quite quickly for me actually i think when the first page was released in january i think i stitched the first page in less than a week so i kind of got a bit obsessed with her but yeah so that's her so those are all my finishes um what i will do is i know when i did my first video i didn't actually show you um what the artwork was for um daffodils and um Mini watching it fly. So here's um, daffodils, so you can see just how much more I have to stitch because I've only done a tiny fraction of it, so that's going to take me years. And here's um, a picture of the artwork for uh, Mini watching it fly, so you can see that I've sort of done the top half really, that's the bit that I've done. So I thought I'd better put up the uh, artwork for those because otherwise you probably don't have a clue what it was that I was stitching on. So, what is left to say? Oh yes, one thing that you may or may not know about Heaven and Earth Designs is that every time you finish a design that you've bought or had um, gifted to you, so not designs that are included in the freebie stitch alongs or any of the freebie charts, but charts that have actually you've paid for or been bought for you, you can submit them to the reward program when you finish them. So for each of the designs um, I finished, so the four that I've completed, um, if you look on the Heaven and Earth Designs website, you'll see on the left hand side there's a link for the reward program. And if you follow the instructions there, twice a year they accept submissions to the program. And it means that for every chart that you finish, you will get your choice of chart um, for the equivalent or less in price. So, you know, if you finish a QS, you can pick another QS chart to stitch, or if you finish a mini, you can pick um, uh, another mini and you get that chart for free. So that's always something um, bearing in mind. I don't know if everybody knows about that always. So I thought I'd just mention it. So, you know, it's quite good. Your special reward for sitting there 
stitching for hours and hours at a time trying to finish one of these designs but yeah so those are all my finishes um, as I said I will do um, a little video well, I say little a video um, about the different um, ways um, that you can stitch heaven and earth designs obviously I can only really talk about from experience from what I've used so things like whether to park whether to grid you know cross country or different type different ways you can stitch them so I think I'll cover those aspects in another video so coming up now is a little montage of um, the heaven and earth charts that I have in my stash so I hope you've enjoyed looking at my finishes and I'll see you again soon Thank mm -hmm. you.